Hello everyone, welcome back to Resident Evil. I forgot I was dying. Okay. Um crap, I don't have freaking herbs anywhere. And I don't want to use the first aid spray until I absolutely have to. Um Do I have all okay, I have all the death masks. Oof. Before I go and do that, I'm going to get some herbs and heal myself because, oh my god. Okay. Uh, oh wait, no, wait. I need... I'll put this key back in here for now because I need the death masks. Okay, perfect. I hope I don't get absolutely... Ah! 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 Okay! Oh my gosh! Go away! Stop it! Holy crap! Uh. Oh, thank god! That was close. Okay. Uh. Stupid crimson heads. I really need to start burning bodies. Uh, hold where the eye should be, so that would be this one. Gross. Uh, holes, eyes, nose, and mouth should be. So that should be this mask. Mm hmm. And what's this one? This one looks like the nose. Okay. Nose. Well, I only have one mask left, and you can check that, but I... Oh boy. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> That's all it <laughs> Alright. Are you shotgun shells? Oh heck yeah. <laughs> well that was easy. Stone and metal object. Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> ah. Well, I didn't want to do that, but... Okay, well... I have no more defensive items. Good job, Jill. You've wasted them all. Barry? Don't want to make the crows angry. Sick. Gun has been placed neatly inside. Take the magnum revolver? Heck yeah, I will.
That's absolutely what I want to hear when I walk into some spooky woods. I want to hear the distant moans of something random. Gonna save real fast. Oh, or not. A family picture. There's a journal left by someone. Daddy attached first, mom attached second. Inside, red and slimy, white and hard. Not true, mom, where? Don't know, dad found mom again. When attached, mommy, she no, she moved no more. Why screaming? Why? Just want to be with her. Mom, where? I miss you. Man, I, I hate that litter. It's the most, it's terrifying and depressing at the same time. Alright. Crank. Come up here. Run away! <laughs> Ow! You, you're doing a terrible job of running away. This is Brad. If you can hear me, just give me a sign. Anything. Jill to Brad. Can you hear me? Shit! It's broken. Thanks a lot, Richard, giving us a broken radio. Ugh. Crap! Oh my gosh. Ugh. Crap! Ugh. 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 <sighs> that dog freaking killed me! Okay. Here we go. Can hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance. Stupid. Close. Get away from me. Oh, wait. Oh crap, what do I do again? Ugh. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Stupid birds! <laughs> Fantastic, there's snakes falling from the ceiling. Wonderful. And now we enter the residence. Another place that I love oh so dearly. Ah. Uh. Please stay down. There's another one. Wait, what? 
Red oil lamp, it's not lit. Okay. Should That's fine, I guess. Huh. Oh, it's that thing. There's another one on the wall. Up there. Good thing I have the giant butt on the wall to keep me company. Hot chicks protect me. Mmm, it's gone. Fantastic. Strange silhouette hovers in the reddish light. Could it have some kind of meaning? I'll find out. Strange silhouette hovers in the orange light. Locked. Gallery. Okay. Wow, I hate that noise. It's a map of the residence. Take it? Yes. Thank you. Got the map of the residence. There's a hole in the wall here. Yeah, I know what happens if you look in there. I'm not making that mistake again. No, that wasn't part of our deal. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. What about my family? If I play my cards right. Mm, okay. Jill! Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You alright? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm alright. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry, I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky, I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. Okay, sure, Barry. Suddenly, I don't trust you. Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-virus has, has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-virus has drastically morphed in its host anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's l difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. We've also found that Plant 42 is, has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its root. Somehow it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There is a high possibility that one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the Plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the Plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. We are sure that it uses used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the Plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. 
We also notice that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this Plant 42. When we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it was as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. Fantastic. Go away, go away, go away. Get away from my ankles. Uh, oh, oh, oh. It's locked. The word power room is written on the door. Uh, okay. Ah. Absolutely not. Are you kidding me? You're not dead. Yeah, discard the key. Okay. Hello. Uh, yes, handgun magazine. Is that another handgun magazine? Oh no, it's a self-defense gun. Yes. Suicide note. I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive. But Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those dang things are pure evil. There's no other way. He would have done the same if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to leave him. I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually, I'll get what's coming to me, though. There's no way to escape from this nut house. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand and at least let me end my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. Okay, thank God. Yes, discard it please. Okay. Hey, a first aid box. Sure, I'll take it. Pressure shelter. Error message being displayed. Something appeared to have gone wrong while the water was being drained. There's a switch to drain the water. Press it. Yes. Ah! Emergency! Emergency! Unknown source of pressure detected. Detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Oh boy. Uh, it won't budge till the safety is released. Uh, uh, release safety. Yes. Oh, 
Okay, ah. Uh, pull the switch. Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. Oil pressure lost. Shelter operation terminated. Restore oil pressure, then release the safety. Uh. Um. Uh, switch to control the pressure valves. Switch, switch. Oh god. Uh, uh, uh. What? Reaching 50% of pressure threshold. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, safety has been released. Drain the water. Yes. The water has been completely drained. Sick. Heck yeah. Labeled dynamite, they're soaked beyond use. Well, that's fantastic. Lever down. Uh. Fantastic. Deep six. Residence key. Yes. Let's go. It's time to go to the gallery. Hi. Stop that. Wait, no, I didn't mean to go in here. No, let me out. No. Ah! <laughs> uh. Okay. This is fine. Everything is just fine. Okay, so... Orange five, green six, red three. 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 Okay, so. Huh? I'm gonna try this. Five, green six. Ah, uh, yes! Awesome. I don't like those noises. 1 plus 3 equals 4, 4 plus 6 equals 10, 1 plus 6 equals 7, 10 plus 7 equals 17, 17 plus 3 equals 20. Were they teaching kindergarten in here? Like, what's going on? Um, uh, hang on. Before I mess with any of that stuff, I'm gonna look at it. 
what's in uh, this room. Discard it, yeah. Okay, great. Organic Chemistry Lab Experiment. The similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected by the tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while, re while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that a chemical in the UMB family, UMB number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of the plant. We have given UMB number 20 a new name, V-Jolt. If calculations prove correct, when V-Jolt is applied directly to the root of the plant, the entire plant should be dead within 5 seconds. The V-Jolt can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio, however, extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals, they have been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. The characteristics of each UMB chemical are as follows. Um, number 3, red, yellow, uh, yellow 6, yellow, UMB number 7, green, UMB number 10, orange, VP 017, blue, VJOLT, dark brown. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. A swarm of angry moths surrounds it. Oh. Okay. Cool. I've made V-Jolt. Sick. Alright, time to go back in here. Ugh. over here. So was there any purpose to me doing that? Oh well. Okay, so we can... Yeah, of course it does. Uh, there we go. Okay. The bindings of the books seem to form some kind of pattern. Reorder the books? Yes. Uh... Alright, sick. Uh... Oh boy, here we go. What the hell is this thing? Barry! Jill! it was finished. Yeah. That was close. Thanks again. Don't mention it. But what was that? What the hell's going on in this place? A lot, Barry. A lot. 
What's that? The mansion key. Okay, I will. Which key is this again? The key master. Uh. Oh heck yeah, the helmet key. Sick. All right. Um. Barry. Something about that mansion still bothers me. But I think I'll stay here a little longer. We should split up again and investigate. All right. Okay. I guess. Wesker! Jill. So you're safe. That's what I was going to say. I apologize. It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. I understand. Anyway, it's good that you're safe. Did you notice? Barry, he sounded a little flaky. Now that you mention it, yeah. I'll keep a close eye. Maybe it's quite natural under these circumstances. It's not really our standard operation. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. I agree. There are still rooms in that mansion we can't get into because they're locked up. I've been looking for ways to... Okay, if there's anything, I'll go back to the other mansion. I'm counting on you. Great. Well, I guess all there is to do now is head back to the other mansion. But I am going to end this recording, so... Thank you everybody for watching, I hope you enjoyed. I hope that next video will be the last episode of Resident Evil, or maybe the second to last. But, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.